Shannon had mentioned sepsis. What is that? What is that condition? Sepsis is an infection that reaches the bloodstream that okay. actually causes, obviously, changes in mental status. It causes changes in blood pressure. It's, it's something that is critical, that it actually requires immediate medical attention, antibiotics and so forth. And some of those symptoms right. are, like we have here on our uh, PowerPoint, is basically shivering, fever, very cold, extreme pain, uh, sleepy, difficulty uh, to, um, to arouse. They say, I feel like I might die. Is that one of the common symptoms that yes, you hear? Yes, yes, okay. yes. They feel very sick. And again, a lot of the time, these patients have tried like home remedies and they don't right. seem to feel better. Mm -hmm. So this is a sign where it needs to trigger a signal, say, I need to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And sepsis is something that we normally see in the geriatric, more in the geriatric community? We see it in all population, but okay. it's obviously seen more in the geriatric population because of their chronic conditions. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they uh, attest that, oh, they're feeling tired today. Mm -hmm. They're not, you know, they're normally not themselves. They're just probably been around and so forth. So they don't, they don't put that much effort, you know, as right. far as identifying, but it's something critical that needs to be attended that needs to. needs to be addressed right away. Yes. And there's so many types of invasive devices and procedures to treat patients. You know, you have catheters and ventilators. Are the elderly more prone to infection because of these sort of devices and invasive mm -hmm. procedures? They are prone to these infections because of their chronic illnesses that are being cared for. Mm -hmm. Uh, however, these devices obviously can also attend to infection to the rest mm -hmm. of the population as well. Like, for example, uh, urinary indwelling catheters, patients that are in a ventilator that they're being uh, helped to be right. breathing, central lines or uh, lines that actually are directly giving medication to the heart.